Well, what we have here is the unit that won't shift. Won't shift past fifth gear. And uh, hooked up to the TCM, we got this Active Co here, 43 FMI 5. Try to get this camera to focus there. So we're gonna go off for the range solenoid. What this code will do is it'll fail, and then you won't be able to shift at a low. So since this is for a circuit issue, uh, I'm gonna pull the TCM connector off and check my circuit for that range solenoid. So on a side note here, um, you won't always get a code. Uh, with these Eaton transmissions, sometimes you get faults and they won't set a code. So you gotta test drive it and then they'll give you your code. So keep that in mind when you're hooking up to it. If you're having shifting issues and the thing's not uh, showing any faults, then um, Make sure you road test it with your computer hooked up and then it'll show you the fault. So the ECM or TCM is located way up there. This is gonna be a huge pain because I got a PTO on it. So I'm gonna pull, it's gonna be the back TCM connector. The front one's for the chassis, the back one's for the transmission. So I just gotta disconnect that and that'll be a four mil Allen, uh, Allen key. I'm just gonna use a socket, Allen key socket. Okay, so I'm able to get my connector down, thankfully. Um, so our range solenoid pins are gonna be pin six, which is right there, pin 28 and pin 34. So we're gonna have to measure resistance between pin six and 28 and six and 34. And see what we got. Okay, so I'm in there. Got my 6 and 28 pin connected. And I'm getting 1.5 million ohms. So there's definitely an open circuit there. And if I go to my 34. Well, that's reading 9 ohms or 10. So his spec is between 9 and 16. If you got that, you're good. So that's good. But this one here is bad. So I'm gonna do a, a wiggle test on this harness real quick. See if I could get that thing to fluctuate. If not, I'll be uh, testing the valve solenoid. So I'm wiggling up, wiggling up here by the range solenoid. And you can see fluctuating like crazy. So I'm gonna remove the. Uh, Move the cover real quick. This is the splitter. Oh, this is loose. This is a splitter, and the range is up up there. So I'm gonna remove that cover, cover, check the connection, make sure it's plugged in properly. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. The light situation is a little rough. There we go. Yeah, right here. So, let's cover off oh, this, this range. Solid it looks new. Oh, let's take that zip tie right there. All right, we're gonna take that zip tie off. Pull this out, check the pins. And yeah, this, this looks new, this solenoid. So, there she's probably in the harness here. Okay, pop this connector off. Now, these pins look like they are spread. Like, it looks a little more than what they should be. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the connector off from this splitter solenoid. I'm going to have a look at those pins. I think we have a harness issue. So let's splitter. This is range. Let me kind of get them side by side here. Okay, it doesn't really look like much difference. What I'll do, I'm going to plug the range into the splitter solenoid and recheck my readings. If they're all over the place again, hold on, we got to 
harness this shoe or bad pins. Okay, so I'm in there. 9.9 is .9. pretty solid. I'm going to wiggle this harness. Oh, yeah, it's moving around. So, yeah, that is not good. I'm going to check, see if there's any. This, this harness here looks kind of newer. That's just not. Yeah, maybe not. But, yeah, I'm going to replace the harness on this. Alright, so I did do a drag test on these pins using my good lead here, and uh, it definitely is loose. This one was nice and tight. This one was pretty loose. They just fell right out of there. So, I'm going to go ahead and just replace this whole harness. These harnesses aren't that much. They're like a couple hundred bucks. Um, they take about three hours to replace, and uh, yeah, because there's really a you know cutting into there to replace the pins, and then who knows if uh, what other parts of this harness will fail, either with your XY shifter or splitter solenoid or whatever. But uh, yeah, going to TC or a transmission harness on this unit, and that's gonna fix this issue. Alright guys.